Welcome back to Here's the Plan. We are closing out on phase one of the castle. There's still stuff to be done, but the majority is complete of phase one and we're heading into phase two. We're excited to get phase two going. We really think it's gonna kind of complete the package. Phase two is kind of the wrapping, the bow, making sure it is all cohesive and you're not just looking at like a top floor that is rentable. It's the entire space. Exactly. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's exciting. See how close our visions are. Okay, so that's the tile that she's talking about. They're getting rid of all that. I think there's water damage there, there's water damage over there, and the tile was all buckled up. Okay. And so that's what we're looking at. When you first go downstairs, you walk in through double doors that lead out to the pool. So if you walk in through those, there is um, a room that right now is really just kind of a catch-all storage room that has a lot of potential to be utilized for something that makes money versus just a, a storage room. There's like a tanning bed and some gym, very old gym equipment. And then just some like sporadic art on the walls, really terrible dated light fixtures. Speaking of lighting. So we really wanna take that room and maximize it to its full potential, making it a space that our clients or the guests can really utilize and spend time in. What we really wanna do with it is create kind of a living space, uh, a very formal room that you can sit in and just kind of relax. Okay, so what I'm proposing that you do, this turns into the carpet. We retexture these walls uh, completely. We can leave this or frame over it, depending on what you want to do. It has no, there's there's no rhyme or reason for it. Then we're gonna come in with like an eight inch, a really heavy crown molding, formal crown molding around the top. We're gonna retexture, refloat these ceilings completely, put in a lot of lighting. This will obviously go away. Put in our recessed can lighting. That'll give you an option. If you want a chandelier in here, you can. These will too be two cast iron uh, custom doors leading outside. Same thing here. We'll want to talk on whether we even want doors here. Um, it will probably help from the standpoint of humidity okay. with the pool. Let me take some, like I have so many pictures of all this, but. And I have tons and we, we need to just have a shared album. We do. Okay, so here's what I'd like to do. What I'd like to do is keep this doorway here, but mask it and build book, bookshelves here that hide it completely. And then the, the doorway pops open and you come back in here, but back in here is a build out to you know, here or maybe right there, and then there is no access. They can't get in there. Yeah. So you good with that? Yeah. If you're a bride or groom or mother of the bride, mother of the groom, grandparents, and you really wanna get away from all the hustle and bustle that's upstairs going on, cause that can be really overwhelming day of events or weekend of events. This is a great spot that is away from everybody that can really be a little recluse for um, those, those specific like VIP members. That's what we're really trying to do there. Um, bringing in new paint, new crown molding, new light fixtures, and then just really high end furniture in that space. This is what I really don't like. Yeah but I don't see, I mean, you see we start busting out this. Yeah. And 
Worst case scenario is we bust out this and then the pool starts being compromised. So I don't know a lot about pools. I'm uh, not a landscape architect, a pool technician, pool designer. I like to swim. But what I do know is there's tile in the grotto area that is dated because it was like probably 70s tile um, when it was put in, 70s and maybe early 80s. And our architect does not like the tile. I don't like it either, but I feel like it's one of those things that I can kind of work around as we need to with the budget. Um, but I do know that like, so there's, there's the pool, right? And then right here, connecting to the pool is, I think they call it coping. It's like the go. tile that like connects to the pool tile and like plaster and everything. So if you, and then from here, this is just regular like walkable tile. So if you're like walking right here, doop, 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 then you get to the edge of the pool, which is like the coping, I think, and then pool. So if you're taking up this tile, cause this is ugly 70s tile and it hits the coping, then suddenly you're not just looking at a couple thousand dollars in new tile over here. You have to completely like replaster and fix the pool coping and the pool itself. So part of having to redo all this is we don't want to, we don't want to screw up the coping by taking out the tiles so, because we don't, the pool is great and in perfect condition. Um, so if it's not possible to take out the tile alone, then we may just have to leave it so we don't screw up anything else. And we'll bring in like outdoor rugs and whatnot that can, can look good. Lots of flooring or rugs, you know, type things uh, for that. Again, I would love for this to come out. We'll just have to. He would really love for this to come out. <laughs> the ceiling will be completely refloated, retextured. That'll go away. All the ceiling fans will go away. The light says we know them will go away. We'll have a whole new lighting scheme in here uh, that covers everything. Well, I think it was really, really, really bad in that room. And part of it, I think, you know, you. When you think grotto, you think like really cool hotel indoor pools that flow out. They usually are dimly lit or very like mood, moodly lit, lit for the mood for the occasion. Um, this is just old lighting that over time, the, the actual glass fixtures, the humidity and chlorine, Um, yeah, coin particles in the air. <laughs> Scientists. Yep. Like our car headlights in West Texas with the hard water, they get like filmed over. And so the lights in there have done kind of the same thing. One, they're old, they're not great, they're not LED, they're not spaced out enough, they're not dimmable, so they're they're just the way they are. And then two, just age and time and the conditions of the environment, they've it, they're grunged over. Um, so we really want to come in, bring in new puck lights all around. Um, and that way, like, it's still bright, but you can keep the mood that is grotto. Fuck. You'll do your candle, your, your, your battery candle uh, set up in there. There is a really cool fire place that actually had a fountain connected to it. I, I assume it worked at one point, it doesn't anymore. But just with insurance purposes, old building, safety, we're not gonna allow fire, fire. We're not gonna allow fires at all. So we're gonna get those, those really, really great LED candles of all different sizes and put them in the fireplace so that with a flip of a switch or a click of a click, we can turn them on and you still get that mood of the fireplace, but without setting the whole place on fire. If you remember from one of our first castle episodes, there were some scary little places that Kelly took us to. And one was a staircase 
closet that had a uh, coffin in it. Oh. oh my God. With their Halloween parties, it probably is a prop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Because yeah, you know, know you would expect to have one. Yeah, that sucker's empty. Oh, no, it's not. It's not? No, there's a skeleton. Really? It's a Budweiser in there. It turns out the coffin was used for a cooler. Anyways, we uh, are gonna turn that room into my office. So I'm just gonna be officing with a coffin. Close this out and build this out with good lighting. Are you good with this? This is my office, Kaylee. Well, I mean, when I'm taking naps. Yeah. I'll just go in the coffin yeah. and like, you know, yeah. Snooze for and a little bit. You. Absolutely <laughs> not. We're gonna put the coffin on like the same kind of fulcrum as Murphy beds. We're gonna do that with the coffin. So when I'm not sleeping, we can just put it up. And then when we put it up, a desk will come out. And then whenever I'm tired, you know, we lay that down and I can get a coffin and take a nap. That's about it as far as renovations for the office. You should really patent that. That's a really good idea. Murphy Coffin? Murphy Coffin was a pull-out desk. Yeah, it's got lots of features. Well, think about the entrance that you can make when you wake up. Yeah. Um, oh, well, you know, we'll price this out whether we sheetrock over this or just leave this raw. I think this is adequate space. You can put a desk right over there. You can actually sit people in here. Yeah, well that's what you want. You want somewhere with your clients that after you give them a tour, you can sit them down and say, and here's how much it's gonna cost. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what we'll want is this to be a lockable door. Yeah. You know, a solid door there, obviously. And this is, again, real heavy quarter round, new ceiling, new lighting. Uh, what I'd like to do is get a, a, a 30 inch wide, six foot long rectangular chandelier above the pool table. Uh, in here. There is a room that has a jacuzzi in it. The jacuzzi does not work. It hasn't worked in quite some time. We're taking the jacuzzi out and turning it into kind of a pool table game media room. Just another added thing that guests can use while they're getting ready that day or like rent for smaller events, just the whole entire lower space for maybe like the Friday before and whatnot. New doorway on that. This would be the red carpet. Probably could carry the red carpet on into there if we if we have enough. Or be thinking about that. No doorways here. Red carpet with my coffin. Just called me Wednesday. I think you just have to be careful with the red carpet because it is red. And I think that kind of limits you on like other colors that you're bringing in. I do love red carpet. I, nobody will notice whenever I spill my wine on it, but you can't like overuse a red carpet or else it feels like very movie theater, church floor. Washer and dryer pulls too heavy a load. We're getting rid of that. The sun table, we're getting rid of it. So what I'm seeing is this is a lockable storage room for y'all. Okay. I mean, maybe, maybe we add linens and yeah. we can store linens, and yeah. linens are part of the package. Um, but I don't see the need for these doors. <gasps> what? Yeah, so there was a ghost encounter. Spirit encounter. Something touched me. You didn't, you didn't touch me? Patrick? You didn't touch oh. me? No, she has it on film. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. We had just walked out of what will be the office. We were standing in where like the pool recreation room is going to be. And my dad's on my left, Kaylee filming with her camera is on my right. And I'm a good two feet from either of them. I feel a very clear like, and not just feel it, like can hear the, like when you pat yourself on the back, you can hear the sound it makes. Right? I can hear it and feel it. I just like freak out and start blaming the two of them for it. And neither of them were close enough. I have literal proof. Are you sure it wasn't just your jacket? 
Her, like, her ponytail? No, I thought like, you know when like a grasshopper jumps on you? Uh-huh. This is Patrick down here. Patrick is the resident ghost. Um, he's very harmless, actually pretty helpful. He's named Patrick after Patrick Swayze in the film Ghost. Not my husband. My husband is also Patrick. He's not haunting anyone at the moment. <laughs> We're with my office. <laughs> no late nights in your office up here. Oh, oh, no. So I couldn't tell if that was, you know, the resident ghost being like, this is definitely a good idea. This isn't a good idea. Don't forget to like add a chair for me. We'll find out, I guess. Dad, you really you didn't do you that. Just like brush up against this. It was my shoulder. Oh, it's your shoulder. Are you sure it wasn't your hair? I no, she it. has it on video. I was, I was not. No, it was not me. My dad was so proud that it wasn't him. He was like, no, no, she has it on film. We will do a corner bookshelf over here to hide this. You want to go back there? Uh, to hide the catacombs. Again, the lights, a huge deal. I want to talk to Brenda and see how quirky she wants to make some of this. I mean, like, I think that stuff's cool. A lot of it is really kind of cool. Yeah. So, okay, repaint, keep the countertops. The pink bathroom's really actually pretty beautiful. I think it's pretty true to character of the castle and we're not gonna have to do a lot. It's really just updating fixtures and paint, things that just over time, over 20 something years, they, it needs some more attention and love. Coming in and, and dropping a couple of thousand dollars in here on fixing it up will go a long, long ways. He's kind of cute. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Kind of an odd place for a light switch. So, new lighting in here, obviously. Um, but, I mean, I think a lot of this we, we can make work. This isn't actually all that bad. Yeah, we're definitely keeping the cool crown molding in that room. I also don't hate it being pink. Maybe like not that pink, but I think there's something kind of fun, funky with that. And then right here, we'll have another, like a-, a Like kind of what's upstairs, sort of? No, I want it to be cast iron so you can see through. I like that, so people can be like, I wonder what's People going to wonder what's, what's up there. Different. And this is where I, I thought, you know, it might even be fun to have one of the knights yeah, yeah, just standing right here. We really want to lean into the castle stuff because that is the, the yeah. owner. That was his dream, his vision. He loved, loved, loved that time period. And I think that just the culture that came with it. And so we really want to lean into that. We don't want to lose that in everything we're doing, keeping that uniqueness that really isn't found in West Texas or anywhere at the moment. That's what's going to draw people in. Is I'm getting married in a castle. I want it's a castle. suits of armor, baby. Oh, I need a suit of armor, I need a sword, and I need a ghost. Yes. Check, check, check. We need a new fixture right there. This or that? Yeah. Do you want to keep that picture? Looks it's safe. safe. I think it's cute. This room just smells so good. See, I like this for my office. Patrick, how do you feel? I just think that if he says nothing, then that means that it should it's be a office. great. It is a great place for an office. I like the wine cellar for an office idea only because I like wine. And I think I have always dreamed of having like a wine cellar as an office. I do also understand though, as we're trying to promote things to guests, one of the things that we want to promote is like wine tasting nights or evenings or wine tasting during the day before the wedding. But I do think, you know, if you had a desk in there with a nights tasting table and chairs, it does kind of not make it as inviting or formal for those events. So I do understand the, the necessity of having my office back in the coffin room instead of with alcohol. Uh, we're not keeping the gobble ghoul though. Gobble ghoul? Gobble ghoul. You wanna get rid of this guy? I swear I've heard gobble ghoul somewhere. 
in to reference to like in scary reference to, to like a spooky scary thing. Now you know what gobble ghoul really is. I didn't know is. gobble ghoul was like an Italian meat. So we'll have these. That one, there's two that are real close to matching. That one and this one. Oh, above the fireplace upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. And they'll be crossed. Yeah. Awesome. Keep in mind, too, in some of those places that we want artwork or something, we can come in with a sword above a doorway. Yeah. You know, things like that. Cool. I mean, I think we kind of need to personalize some of this stuff, you know, with what she has. I'm gonna put really dramatic music on that. He's gonna be so sad when this is over and he's not gonna have swords to hold on to while he's designing. These chairs, actually, really cool. Well, I mean, they, they need to do go somewhere for sure. I, I mean, this is a whole lot less expensive build out than what we are talking about down before, below. And if we secured the door from the spa room into that other space, that's that much more storage. Yeah. I think we come in and don't fill it with books, but like, a stack of vintage books here, a stack of vintage, like, yeah. history of the time. You know, it's, it's like the, the, cigars, the, the scotch up there. Do the, yeah. you really want to mess with that? You know, that that would be a cool thing just to leave. I mean, you could keep this, but you could also put a desk back up in here, have two chairs in there. Um, this is great space to be able to sit down and talk to a family and everything else. Chandelier's not all that bad. I like it. Yeah. You need more light, but you can get that with lamps. Yeah. Put your hand on the table. <laughs> Tetanus. 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 And that's how the event planner died. <laughs> that's why one finger is a little bit shorter. So maybe Patrick was telling you that that build out up there is not a good place. I don't know, we're gonna have to contemplate that. Yeah, you'll have to talk to him privately later. He's camera shy. He's camera shy? Oh, he doesn't like being filmed. Maybe he was napping. <gasps> maybe he was napping, we entered it, we woke up. In the coffin. In the coffin. Oh God, I'm we figured it out. so sorry, Pat. Same countertop, clean it up. New Same thing. countertop is upside, stairs or keep this? Upstairs. Upstairs, okay. Clean, good, maybe a farm sink or yeah. float this out. New refrigerator if you want one right here. Yeah. Keep these shelves, we'll finish them out. So there is a bar downstairs right by the pool. Um, it's a bar that really, it functions as a bar right now. But again, as everything else, it's pretty dated. Um, we need to bring it up to date, make it a little bit more clean, I guess would be the best way. Um, streamlined and bring the appliances in it up to date. And other than that, it, there's really not much work that needs to be done on the bar. That leads up to the staircase. Are we railing? I kind of think we need something there, whether a rail or bars. I don't want anybody fall through that. And then over here. An address space. All kinds of storage. So we could get this as simple, build out or as elaborate as, as you want. Retexture these walls to match everything. There is a large space that we can use for storage that could have housed an elevator if we had wanted to go that route. But um, we'll probably end up putting some shelves and making it just a storage unit. Not unit, but storage space. Retexture, refloat all this up in here. Carpet on this? I think <laughs> it's a dungeon. I don't think we carpet it. Okay. I think that transitions up there and this turns into kind of the, the spooky zone. The catacombs. But you, did you say walls? Te yeah, texture the walls out. So even though this seems pretty daunting, this is actually light construction. Yeah, it doesn't, like, 
after this conversation, it seems like there's not that much like, it's a lot of clearing out. We're not doing what we did upstairs, no. yeah. So where the, the top two floors were really built of stone, quite literally built of stone. The lower floor, the ground level, pool level floor, was built much more like a house, um, where so so you have drywall that you're working with that you can tear down, gut, redo. Same with the ceilings and the electrical is in the walls and and not just like in stone somewhere. So as far as project wise, where the top two floors really took a ton of time and money to create what needed to be created and um, finish out properly. The lower, the, the pool, pool level isn't gonna be quite the project in scope or price tag, which is kind of great. Yeah, I think we can make this look really cool. And it's, it's really the funnest place of the whole, what are you thinking? You're just still freaked out, aren't you? Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.